Greetings. Welcome to TV Box Stop, the channel for the best reviews in TV boxes and accessories. Today's video is the review of the highly requested B-Link GT King Pro TV Box model, featuring the new M-Logic S922X-H CPU and the Mali G52 MP6 GPU, with benchmarks said to rival even the Nvidia Shield. That's a bold statement coming from other YouTubers who have already tested this box, and I'm eager to test it myself and see if there is any merit in those claims. So stay tuned, that's coming up next. Are you looking for a great air mouse with voice control and universal features like infrared learning? Then you should try the G30 Air Mouse. Featuring 33 keys with mouse cursor movements, it's compatible with Google Assistant, Netflix YouTube and other Google Play services. This is by far the most affordable high-quality Bluetooth air mouse you'll ever buy. Now going for only $9, take advantage of this great offer before stocks run out. To take advantage of this offer, see the link in the description area or see it in live action in this review. Welcome back. So this is the box, and to the back you have some specifications. The CPU which is the new M-Logic S922XH Hexacore processor. It has HDMI 2.1 4K display at 75 frames per second. It has 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. It has dual band Wi-Fi, Gigabit Ethernet LAN, and an array of connecting ports which I will get to in a moment. So without further ado, I will do a quick unboxing. These are the contents of your package. You have the B-Link GT King Pro TV box itself. You get a wireless voice remote and dongle. You get one HDMI cable. A 12 volts 2 amps power adapter. And a user's manual. Included in this review is a demonstration of the new G30 wireless air mouse, which is not included in this purchase, but it is the upgraded model to this G10 which comes with the box. So this is what it looks like. It feels really good in your hands and it looks amazing. So I will do a little segment on it later in the video. Let's take a look at its design and its input-output peripherals. The entire body is made of metal, with the B-Link King skull printed to the top. To the back, you have one HDMI 2.1 port, one gigabit Ethernet LAN port, an RS-232 port, one headphone jack, a power button, and your DC power input. To the side, you have two USB 3.0 ports, a standard size SD card reader, a reset button, and some ventilation holes. On the other side, you have two more USB 3.0 ports, and some more ventilation holes. To the front, you have an LED power light. And to the bottom, there are no ventilation holes. So I will connect to my capture card and TV and continue. So I'm all set. And as I start up the box you have the same dark B-Link logo and glowing eyes animation for a couple of seconds. Then you're taken to a startup wizard. Once you have completed the wizard, you're then taken to the launcher. In the settings area under droid settings you have the following features. 4K resolution up to 2160p at 60Hz. HDR display options. Audio output options. And HDMI CEC options. Unlike Yugu's boxes that has settings for everything, enabled automatically without settings in this box is Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos and DTS audio output. There is no root switch feature, screen rotation feature, or hardware monitor feature like in the Yugu's boxes. In the apps section, you get a basic set of system apps like App Installer, App Market, Bees File Explorer, Chrome Browser, Movie Player, the Google Play Store, and Wireless Updates. Speaking of updates, 
if you click on the icon you will not find any updates. However, when I checked in the system settings I found that there was one update from B-Link to complete. So I will do the update and install all my apps needed to complete my review. So I'm back, and to start this segment I will check to see if you can use alternative launchers. I installed the ADW Launcher 2 and it works great, and all the features including drag and drop shortcuts works well. Next, I will check if screen rotation works on this box. I have already tested it and screen rotation works. But first, head over to display settings and enable screen rotation. Then using your favorite app enter into portrait mode. I will now check to see if the box is rooted. It shows that the box is rooted, running on Android 9 operating system. Unlike the Yugu's boxes, it doesn't have a root switch feature. And the warning still remains in effect. Don't try to update the super user app as it will put your box into a permanent boot loop where only a flash of the firmware can restore it. I now show its DRM information. The B-Link GT King Pro has Google Widevine Level 1 and no HDCP protection. This means that Netflix and Amazon Prime will only show in standard 480p quality. Let's look at its system and hardware information. The manufacturer of this box is AZW, and the model is the GT King Pro. It comes with 4GB of DDR4 RAM, and this is the remainder of the storage from the 64GB after the Android installation and all the apps installed. The Bluetooth version here is 4 Plus, which indicates that the Bluetooth version is 4.0 or higher. The CPU is the latest Mlogic S922X CPU divided into two cores. A dual-core ARM Cortex-A53 running at 1.8 GHz, and a quad-core ARM Cortex-A73 running up to 2.2 GHz for a total of six cores, on a 64-bit instruction set running in 32-bit mode. So we see that B-Link has maxed out the clock speed in this model. The box has support for only 32-bit ABIs, allowing it to run only 32-bit applications. The GPU is the dual-core ARM Mali G52 graphics processor, with a refresh rate of 60 Hz and OpenGLES 3.2 support which is great for gaming. Under network information, it shows that the box has dual-band 2.4 and 5 GHz Wi-Fi support. The Android information shows that the operating system is Android 9 Pi, and it also shows that the box is rooted. Under thermal information it shows that the box is running between 35 to 50 degrees Celsius under an air-conditioned room temperature, and this can rise up to 65 degrees under heavy activity. The box has codecs for playing 4K videos like HEVC, H.264 and VP9 decoding, and a couple of others all needed for the playback of 4K media. And that's it for system and hardware information, and let's now see if the Pro model can outperform its predecessor in some benchmarks. First, I have the results of the RAM copy and internal storage read and write speeds. The B-Link GT King Pro has a RAM copy speed of 7294 megabytes per second. The internal storage has a read speed of 134 megabytes per second and a write speed of 112. This score is a good score, and it appears to be higher than the previous model, and we will see how it measures up on the rank chart. Next, I have the results of the Wi-Fi speed test. The results showed that the box was able to hit the maximum speed of my internet package of 100 MB on the 5 GHz and on the LAN port. The 2.4 averaged around 60 megabits per second download speed. This is great news for the GT King Pro, as it's usually a big factor when choosing a TV box. Next, I have the results of the Antutu benchmark. The new GT King Pro got a score of 128,134. This score is a high score, and in just a second we will see how high it ranks on the chart. 
In the Geekbench 4 CPU benchmark, the box got a score of 1451 single-core and 3978 multi-core. So the Pro model looks very good in this test, and the score reflects the extra clock speed applied in this model. The final results are the Ice Storm Extreme and the Slingshot GPU graphics benchmark. The GT King Pro is too powerful for the Ice Storm Extreme test, so it maxed out on that score. And in the Slingshot test, it scored 1660. That's an impressive score, and now let's see how it ranks on my chart. So after entering the scores, the new Pro model took position number 3 in reference to Antutu scores, placing it among the highest scoring TV boxes for 2019. So it managed to outscore the new AM6 Pro model and the previous GT King model, but it came nowhere close to the Nvidia Shield as some people claimed. This chart is available in full spreadsheet format on my website, where you can fully interact with it, and compare scores, see the link in the description area. Before I start the entertainment segment I have the results of the G50 Air Mouse. I tested all the features, and I am really impressed with the improvements they have made to the response of the mouse cursor movements. The voice search and voice commands work really well, and if you have Google Assistant it works without issues. It feels great in your hands and it has an attractive appearance also. So to start the entertainment segment I will start with Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. The Netflix app is not available for install off of the Google Play Store, you have to sideload it via an APK app store of your choice. Amazon Prime Video installs directly off of the Google Play Store, but due to lack of required DRM support, both Netflix and Amazon Prime Video plays up to standard 480p quality only. I also installed the Android TV version of YouTube and it plays up to 4K 2160p quality. If you prefer the YouTube Smart TV version or the YouTube Vanced version, they work well on this box also. If you like casting your mobile device to the box you can install the AirScreen app. I am using Miracast to cast my cell phone to the box. The AirScreen app is free on the Google Play Store and it also works for iOS devices. The technology running through his veins augments his strength, his reflexes, even his healing capabilities. He's unlike anything we've seen before. I will now play my list of 4K video samples.
executioners, judges. Welcome to the inside of your head. The 4K samples played without issues and I will now move on to test its Dolby and DTS audio output. So the new GT King Pro can output Dolby Atmos, DTS surround sound, and THX digital audio formats. Two features I would like to mention before I start the final segment, is the ability of the box to hotspot to other mobile devices while connected to the Gigabit Ethernet LAN port. And the other is the ability to convert a 2TB external hard drive to shared internal storage for massive expandable storage options. I will now play some popular Android games, also I will be using key mapping for games that need it. Goalkeeper poor, really. He's got space. Could it be? And a goal into the bottom corner.
Oh, la queen, la queen. Natural born killer. The gaming experience is among the best in the industry, and the graphics rendering is smooth and of a high quality. During gameplay I monitored its temperature and it stayed in the low 50s, and this is due to the aluminum metal housing which also acts as a huge heatsink, making it ideal for long periods of intense gaming. In summary, the new GT King Pro model uses a different mainboard from the first release, and it provides some major improvements. It provides a higher CPU clock speed of 2.2 GHz over the 1.8 used in the first model, resulting in faster processing speeds but it generates higher heat levels from the CPU. So to facilitate this increase, they upgraded the cooling system of the box by adding a bigger heatsink, and they also used an aluminum body which they also used to complement the cooling system. So the body of the box itself is a huge heatsink, which also makes it heavy. It has four USB 3.0 ports compared to the two USB ports used in the previous model, and there is now a new RS-232 port for those interested in this conventional type of data transfer. The only port missing is an optical audio port. The user experience of the box is excellent. It provides most of the features of modern TV boxes such as their signature launcher featuring navigation bar and full status bar. Root access. 4K resolution display with HDR. Dolby Atmos and DTS Audio. Included wireless airmouse with voice search feature. Alternative launcher and screen rotation feature. Mobile hotspot feature. Compatibility with all streaming apps and APKs. You can cast mobile devices via the AirScreen app, and you can convert a 2TB external hard drive to shared internal storage. The benchmark scores are high, delivering a gaming experience among the top three in the industry, and key mapping apps work on this box. On the downside, there is no root switch feature, and the box lacks the required DRM support to stream premium streaming services like Netflix in HD and 4K quality. So this brings down the curtains on today's review. Beelink has done a great job with this new release, and I'm really impressed with the improvements they have made to this new model. This model was provided by Gearbest.com who has also extended their exclusive 25% discount with the included coupon, provided that you use the special link in the description area of this video or on my website. So thanks again for watching. If you like my video give it the thumbs up. If you have any questions about this box leave a comment in the comments area or send me an email. And if you would like to see more videos hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell to receive an email when I release a new video or do a giveaway. Keep the streaming community alive and see you in the next one.